Hey everybody, it's Dave Berman from DaveBermanCoaching.com and Daily Laughers on Facebook and YouTube. And this is a Laughter Gym After Report. We have Laughter Gym sessions every day, still twice a day. And we laugh for 15 minutes and then we explore the experience. We talk about what did we notice? What did laughter bring to our awareness? How did laughter shine our inner light on gifts that are already there that we don't always see? And in this session in particular, the thing I wanted to just call to attention here in the after report is the idea of separate realities. So we each have our own unique perception of what's going on both inside ourselves and around us in the world. And maybe the news makes that <laughs> a really obvious and easy thing to see these days, but maybe not. I don't know that people really give credence or credit to the fact that other people are having their own unique experience. We tend to project that, oh, the way I see things is the way it is, and you must be wrong. And we don't take into account this idea of separate realities, which is why I wanted to take a moment to point to it, and how easily it was observed in our experience in the laughter gym. One person said, wow, the time really went by so quickly. And another person said, I had this great experience today where I was perceiving time going slowly and I slowed down my laughing and my breath. Now, which was it? Was time going faster today or was time going slower today? Or is time just a function of perception, which is thought? Moment to moment to moment, thought is creating 100% of our perception. We had another example of it show up in this session too. Somebody was stretching their face muscles, <laughs> just changing the shape of the way the muscles in the face were being held and as a result making different sounds with her laugh. And I've seen this many, many times. In fact, I recommend to people that as this person was doing, it looked like she was experiencing a bit of soreness in the muscles in the cheeks and face. This is very common. And because it's so common, I've come to discover or realize that if we just make different shapes and sounds with our face and our laugh, that we don't get that soreness or that soreness will dissipate and we can have a different experience just from playing around with our face and and the shape and the sounds that we make is part of also uh, part of why I say laughter is the sound of joyful breathing and I was looking at this person and I was assuming ah, I shouldn't assume <laughs> but I have seen this so often that I thought oh this person is experiencing that soreness and she's doing the smart thing that I always recommend to make different shapes and, and uh, stretch your face muscles. And this is someone who has some laughter experience but she's new in the laughter gym and I don't think she's ever even heard me give that suggestion. And while we talked about the experience after laughing, I learned that no, she was doing that to be proactive to avoid the creation of that strain. And so here I was discovering that my perception was different from hers. So separate realities are really valuable. You'll find this useful if you are in a relationship with anybody of, of any kind. So that pretty much means you know, everyone everywhere all the time uh, can find it useful to not project your experience onto somebody else and not to assume that you know or understand what somebody else's experience is like because of separate realities. So let me know in a comment an example that you've had to show up for you of becoming aware of separate realities uh, or maybe where you missed the opportunity to notice separate realities and your assumptions or projections created misunderstandings or possibly even conflict. I don't really want to know about drama, but just 
share with us an example in the comments about how this idea of separate realities shows up in your experience and how it can be useful for you to notice it more. Just notice. And uh, I'll see you in another Laughter Gym After Report sometime later in the week. I'd like to do a couple of these following our Laughter Gym sessions, which are twice every day. And the um, information about how to join will be in the description or the comments related to this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.